Mia here from the Block and Chain. This week we have seen a rather uneventful week in the crypto market. However, we've got a lot of positive news out of the world in regards to crypto and blockchain tech. Forget about the FUD. This is all the news that mattered to me this week. Let's get started by talking about the news out of China this week. Even though we have seen a lot of FUD out of China, the overall sentiment in terms of blockchain technology is high. It's unbelievable, but China is the number one filer of blockchain-related patents in the world. In 2017, there were a total of 406 blockchain-related patent applications, half of which originated from China. China, 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 China. Chinese companies are moving fast in order to protect their ideas in new areas of blockchain development. Most companies believe that the negative sentiment from Beijing shown in 2017 were cool in late 2018, and the government will slowly allow reintegration of crypto back into the Chinese market. Also out of China this week, the Chinese government-linked investment association, the IAC, is planning to create an international blockchain investment development center in the hopes of spurring further interest in the blockchain and crypto development in China. Liu Ren, the vice chairman of the investment association, is also the chairman of its foreign capital committee. He confirmed the validity of the creation of this association in China. He's definitely one of the players to watch out for because of his close ties to the central government and his personal positive sentiment towards blockchain development in China. Before we jump to the next news, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. On the exchange front, Binance is set to move its base of operations to Malta, which is very progressive towards crypto and blockchain technology. The president of Malta, in fact, reached out to Chan Pen Zhao, CEO of Binance, on Twitter, welcoming their operation to the island nation. What exactly will this mean for Binance? This would mean that, that they should have the needed government support to allow them to get the proper licensing needed so that they could add a USD crypto pair to their offering. What exactly does this mean for all of us? This has the potential to add needed liquidity to the market. Now let's fly back from Malta to China. The Chinese central bank governor Zhou Xiaochuan has stated this week that China is not in a rush to overly regulate blockchain technology in China. He has also stated that digital currency is inevitable and is the next logical progression and eventually will replace paper money. He also stated that the central bank is researching digital currency and they stated that issuing digital currency does not depend on a technology application but on the ability to reduce the costs and improve the convenience of retail payment ecosystem. Overall, I personally feel quite bullish about the government sentiment coming out of China and I think that 2018 is going to be an exciting ride for all of us Kryptonians in China. I would love to know your thoughts in general. Remember to like what I'm trying to do on this channel hit that like button and subscribe.